So this time, uh, I am going to follow a different way of teaching. Different way of teaching means we are uh, following the teaching and the practice. The first lecture is on uh, sound and color. It is a very advanced lecture. I will. Uh, Mas has given the lecture in, I don't know whether, whether in Germany or in Switzerland. It's a very advanced lecture. I cannot explain everything here because it needs a lot of uh, background to understand uh, the difficulty of the subject. So I, want to, I will put it in a simple way. When I am explaining that, then I will ask you to practice. Let us mix together like that. All these years we are practicing uh, something and uh, teaching something and I wanted to mix with uh, the sound and color lecture. This is so interesting. So let us start with the prayer first. And then this time, uh, as I wrote in my message, let us practice more. Let us practice more. And uh, the simple teaching and more practice. I wanted to change. I, 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 I am changing this uh, wherever I go because people are listening to the lectures and developing <coughs> a lot of intellectual side. And, and, and they are not able to uh, enjoy that or experience the, the real uh, light or whatever it may be. So when you are giving so many lectures, developing more into the intellectual side, not more into the spiritual side. And, uh, perfectly calling spiritually intellectual side that is not the purpose of the real spiritual life in the name of the wisdom people are becoming more intellectual and more intellectual feeling that they, oh, they are very spiritual that is not true intellectuality is totally different from the spirituality and reading the books is not the spirituality or uh, doing a lot of meditations is not the spirituality and speaking about the scriptures is not the spiritual. It is a, it is a spiritual intellectualism. So that's why I wanted to teach uh, the important things. And then uh, I wanted to give them more practices. More practices from the root level. Not the visualizations and not the illusions. And not like that. There are few things in Indian scriptures, the very original, and even one practice is more than enough for many lives, not only for one life. I explained to you many times in my many classes since 97. I don't know how many has uh, picked up those techniques. Those are not the techniques. But once again I repeat uh, some of them and I add some of them. And uh, uh, I already explained to you all our uh, Classes are going to be concluded very shortly. Maybe next year or after the, after the next year. I wanted to complete entire my journeys. If I, it goes according to my plan. If it is beyond my plan, I can't explain. But as far as I am concerned, I wanted to stop everything coming to any other country. Uh, this is the 28th time. By After completing the 30, 30 uh, times, I wanted to stop it. Before I stop it, I wanted to uh, explain what I learned from the Master or what I found from inside or what I got from through my meditation. Whatever is there, I, I try to extend 50% of it, not 100%. 50% of it because uh, I have to find the people even including my family, my son or daughter, I have to find some people on this globe, on this earth, to transfer my wisdom or my experience in the higher order of this true spiritual life. Still I am searching of the people and who can uh, receive that uh, in the same frequency, the way I received from my master or from inside, Still I am in search of my <laughs> journey. Uh, so far I did not find anybody, including my daughter and my son or my wife or whoever it may be. 
if I am fortunate enough, if I can transfer that wisdom to somebody else, then they can uh, continue that uh, with some other people. Including the, I wanted to explain about the real bro center meditation. Bro center, you know? There is uh, so many uh, the masters, uh, when they speak up, so many uh, masters in any spiritual school, yoga school, they speak about the bro center meditation, it is the most important meditation. They speak about the bro center meditation and meditate here and meditate some light here like that, they explain that the basic level of uh, uh, bro center meditation. The highest side of meditation is there. Still, I am not in a position to find a single person in any of the countries where I am traveling since last 25 years to initiate them into the process of meditation. My family is not an exception there. I am telling you. They are so highly spiritual, my wife and my wife's sister. They are very, very highly spiritual. <coughs> Even then I am not able to find uh, to decide to initiate them into the process of meditation. I am so fortunate to have such a great master and he also, I am telling you very frankly, he also shared some the most important meditations with me only, not with, not with any of my other colleagues. I am telling you very frankly. Because when we, when we both were discussing in the late nights and when we both were traveling to some other places, since I am so much, so much interested in the yoga since my childhood, I used to discuss with him and about this and about this. And all of a sudden, he used to tell, no, do you know anything about the bro center? I say, I say I what is there? I, I, all, the, all the time I put my mark here and he laughed and said, <laughs> that you're not the bro center. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he said once and we both were discussing in a room and there was a light there was a light here a bulb here and said uh, Raju you know any, anything about the bro center I said yes it is a bro center said, because he said many times about the bro center and then he said he laughed and said and what about that bulb he said and it's a bulb what you are called the bro center is like a bulb eh? but there should be a switch somewhere else unless we switch there we cannot get the light here the people whatever the people they are speaking about the bro center is they are speaking about the bulb eh? because they are able to see the light eh? that's why they are they are speaking with the bro center and we have to meditate here isn't it but there is the switch Unless you, you switch on the, put on the switch, you cannot be get the light. So, a real teacher, master, who is so deep in his spiritual experiences, he only knows where the switch is. Unless you put the, unless you on the switch, you cannot get the light here. This is the bro center, you are right, this is the bulb, eh? but where is the switch? Switch on. Then itself is initiation. To know this itself is, an, is like an initiation. Otherwise, if he doesn't ask that, I will not rise about uh, this question any time in my life. All the time, there is a bro center, this is the throat center, and this is the head center, this is the heart center. These are all, these are all like the bulbs. Uh, to have the glow, you should know the switch where it is, and then if you know the switch, then you can put it on. Then I was really shocked. <laughs> I read so many books, and I followed so many lectures. Even the question itself is uh, so interesting. Then I said, and I said, and so then immediately asked, where is the switch? <laughs> then he told me, then uh, this is the. They, we cannot put it in the books. No, nobody can put the switch in the book. They will not write the switch. It has to come from master to the disciple and disciple to the... Again, master to the disciple like that. It is go from person to person. Unless we are very much sure 
that this particular individual living an impersonal life you know what is impersonal life mm-hmm. impersonal life means he will not keep anything for him in this world all the time he lives for the humanity all the time he lives to help the people he will never try to possess anything for him he never tries to think about himself all the time all the time he wanted to help the people that's why that's how he lives if anybody finds that such a person then we can initiate them with this method why because and the bro center is activated so you will get lot of will power a lot of magnetism a lot of wisdom above all they can have a rapo a contact with the universal and cosmic energies then what you will do when you have a contact with the higher beings or with the higher intelligences and you have that that type of wisdom with you then what you will do you cannot use it for yourself is a huge light so somebody is thinking always about himself about his welfare about his spiritual growth even spiritual growth also even about his own family about his comfort or her comfort then there is no they cannot uh, do anything with this so that's why all the masters they keep it as a secret secret and un- un- until they find a person the man or woman who are prepared all the time to work for the humanity nothing else for them they are nothing <laughs> so they said uh, i have you have to give me a promise <laughs> you should not speak about this any time uh, to anybody un- until you find a person <laughs> it was happened 1974 at 75 25 plus 18 43 years in my life i i spoke like this many times but i never revealed that now also i am i am i don't want to reveal that even you ask me if i am otherwise in my room i smile and said no just i i told like that <laughs> somehow i will escape i am telling you very frankly please don't ask i will not tell why i am telling you very frank, frankly because spiritual spiritual spirituality and yoga is something different what we practice the meditations and what we practice some sort of things and what we read books they're all at certain level the real spiritual stuff either from it has to come from inside by our uh, own deep practices deep practices means we have to get it off for all the hellu sessions first some since somebody wanted to go deep inside there are two obstacles one is the visualizations visualizations and they should, they should not care about any colors or any sounds or this and that and i am able to see a lot of light and able to see the angels i'm having lot of dreams and so many great people are coming into my dreams they have to they have to be out from all these things mm-hmm. absolutely 100% and when people are enjoying the all seeing all these things uh, in the dreams or in the meditations and they are trying to get more and more and more that means doors are closed they cannot enter into the second door they have to stay there enjoying all the things you understand second thing is a fashion about the miracles <laughs> all the time looking at the skies and something happens to us and miracles will happen to us and this and that it is not the right thing in the the true spiritual practice the real yoga life but all the time whenever we are going to the classes and we are going to the lectures all the time the spiritual teachers they will try to put you into the in the city in the chamber you will see this and you will see this and you will see this you will see this and so the light will come down and everything like that 
it is it's true light will be everybody who do the meditation they will see the light it is a common pre kg syllabus you know what the pre kg pre kg means the who join the children in the school at the age of 3 years or 4 years this is what the in india we call, we call it kg when you join your children when they are 4 years old or 3 years old in the school we call it as a kg pre kg like that lkg and ukg like that like the first standard and second standard and third standard kindergarten kindergarten, kindergarten yes yeah, kindergarten, kindergarten. <coughs> kindergarten all these colors and every stuff is nothing but like a kindergarten syllabus when you are uh, comfort with the kindergarten <laughs> when you will when you will enter into the first standard <laughs> you understand so what i wanted to impress on your mind in generally what we what we believe the spiritual stuff is is not it is the spiritual stuff in the kindergarten section not in not even upper primary or primary <laughs> understand how that how master ek teaches from there and master jawal cools books are the most highest books as far as the uh, this occultism and spiritualism is concerned alice bailey alice bailey books 24 books she has written out of 24 volumes there are 12 volumes or 14 volumes highly highly advanced with the spiritual stuff then bailey said alice bailey said after this some other master will come who is born with the sagittarius ascendant first house she she has given a prediction okay. after 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 us some man will come born on this earth with the ascendant of the first house is sagittarius he will continue this he will continue this wisdom with the much more higher level that is nothing that is nothing but master ek he was born in the leo sign with sagittarius as the ascendant and he continued uh, the next level of teaching after blavatsky then alice bailey has come she continued that after alice bailey master has come and he continued the same teaching with with a much more higher understanding because he is from the india because europe and america they have their own limitations as far as the vedic wisdom is concerned because of the language or order it may be because he was born in india that's why whatever is left or unfinished in alice bailey or madam blavatsky's books he completed that gap and he has given a lot of wisdom through his lectures and through his books that's why in the wisdom uh, group i don't know whether people are opening it or not <laughs> some people <laughs> did you do you open uh, marilina wisdom 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 yes of course every day <laughs> every day i was thinking about a book no no yes the whatsapp wisdom but not i will tell you why not <laughs> you are thinking you are opening every day but you, you did not open the required part in the wisdom group uh, when i formed and uh, one month back i have given the link uh, to the masters lectures there are hundreds of the lectures of the masters uh, given in many parts of the world and i have put all the lectures i have given the link in the wisdom group i have given i have given the link to the lectures of the master hundreds of the lectures those lectures are enough for the coming 100 births not not even 10 births the coming 100 births the link what has given uh, in the wisdom group the lectures of the master uh, hundreds of the lectures sir it will take long 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 time to even just to listen to the lectures to understand one lecture it will take long time Say I have to come here or you have to come to India <laughs> to ask me to explain about that lecture. <laughs> you understand? So this is the background. 
why I am telling you all these things and uh, I know many practices and uh, when I was conducting a course in Dominic's place in Basel and uh, one lady came from East Germany for the first time when I conducted a course in Dominic's place and uh, one lady came from, only once she came she came from East Germany <laughs> I don't know her name maybe she is from Mani or something, or somebody else and when I explained uh, so many pranayamas and so many meditations and at the end uh, she asked me and you, you told a lot of meditations here and uh, how you will find time <laughs> to do all the meditations <laughs> I said you want me the truth <laughs> I asked her you wanted me to tell the truth <laughs> she said yes of course so I am telling you the truth what is that I don't do any meditation <laughs> I said if you believe me I, I don't do any meditation <laughs> why you are telling me why you are telling all the meditations <laughs> because you are asking me <laughs> Why you are telling all the meditations and all the pranayamas? I said, because you are asking me, I am explaining you all the meditations and all the pranayamas, but I will never do. Is it true? She asked me. Yes, I am, I am, yes, I am true. <laughs> then she said, how we will live? I live with the meditation. <laughs> when you are not uh, doing the meditation, how you live with the meditation? So that's the real yoga, I said. <laughs> that's the real yoga, I said. And uh, I cannot understand. I know you will not understand. Mm -hmm. Definitely I know you cannot understand. It is true. But what I am telling is also true. So why I am telling you this is, I know so many things. And uh, I explained a lot of things in Basel and uh, in Morsha. But you know, as far as I am concerned, I may come two more times more if I survive. <laughs> it is the condition. <laughs> if I survive until 70, 2020, I complete my 70 years of age and I complete my 30, year, 30 times of uh, uh, foreign travels and I complete 50 years of my life uh, with the master's uh, work. So it is a landmark. Huh? 50 years of my work with the master, 25 years of my foreign journeys, 30 times coming to Europe or in America, and the landmark, eh? Golden Jubilee and Silver Jubilee, <laughs> like that. I wanted to take uh, another direction. Another direction means uh, another uh, level of work. So that's why I request all of you to just focus on the training part and all these lectures are there in my wisdom uh, group link is there and you can uh, listen to all these lectures you need not uh, uh, you don't need the books and uh, most of the things you, will, you can understand because he speaks very well a very very simple language very beautiful language and if and you uh, listen to the lectures one lecture in 10 days uh, it's good it take long Hmm? What is that, Dominic? It's, it is written in German also, translated in the book? Uh, we have taken the translation part. Actually, original lectures are uh, English and translation into German, but we have taken the German translation out. Uh, we have just uh, put the English version. Actually, originally they are, the, uh, the, originally they are having, uh, when, when, whenever, whenever he was giving, giving the lectures in Geneva, it is a French translation was there. Whenever he was giving the lectures in Munich, and uh, German translation is there. And uh, what uh, our people did, it's a very lengthy lectures. In India, we don't want, uh, we don't need the translation. That's why I have cut this uh, translation part. <laughs> and I have put only the English one. But translation part, I don't think they are available. Uh, we, I will try. If they are available, we will try. I uh, don't think they are available because you have to cut everything. <laughs> and his English is so simple. So, that's why I told you, 
and you would not open completely. Okay. Yeah, you know. <laughs> because if somebody opens those lectures, immediately they telephone to me or they, 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 give, they give me the mail. So, this is the part I cannot understand. It's so simple. Uh, with that background, I told, I told you, you did not open those things. <laughs> okay. So, whatever it may be. So, let us start with the prayer. Last year, I told two mantras. Last year, I told you two mantras. What are those two mantras? Anybody tell me? Gayatri. Not Gayatri. Last year, I told two mantras. Yes. Can anybody repeat that mantra? Who? Who will repeat the two mantras? <laughs> if anybody knows correctly, then, then then tell me, otherwise don't tell. Please. If anybody can chant perfectly without any mistakes, then please tell me. No? Not perfectly. Karin? Well, last time when I was uh, explaining about this Ganapati Mantra and Lakshmi Mantra also I given, eh? two mantras, what I told you, <coughs> Ganapati is directly related with the, with what? Ganapati is directly connected with? With the Mavandara. With the root chakra. Right? Last time I explained uh, in a very detailed way, I told you, let us start the journey from now on. I am giving you the Ganapati Mantra. Ganapati Mantra, Ganapati is the lord of the Muladhara Chakra or the base or root chakra. Unless the root chakra or Muladhara Chakra is so strong, we cannot settle in the life with strength. Number one. Number two, in our life, we will have a lot of obstacles in the life, in any life, whether in the finance side, or in the social world, or in the family, or in the job, or even the spiritual practice, or in the relationship, whatever it may be. Every one of us, we will have some sort of obstacles in the process to go further. To overcome those obstacles, to go further in a smoother way. And we need the energy of Lord Ganapati, who is residing at the base center, Muladhar Chakra. If somebody wanted to be a little bit more comfortable in their health, or more strong in their willpower are more strong, uh, stable in their life, either in the mind or in the physical world, whatever it may be, we need the energy of the Ganapati. That's why I told two mantras of Ganapati, one is the small one and there is the very uh, lengthy one. I told all of you, let us have a beginning, humble beginning from now on. This year I will I am giving you the mantra of Muladhara Chakra. By the next year, I hope you will be so comfortable, happy, healthy and wealthy. <laughs> and you will be successful in your life. So you practice this every day. I made you chant for many times, if I remember well. And simply then what I expected if you practice that mantra, what I expected, and this year, I wanted to take you to the Ender Chakra. There is a, a, a journey from the root center to the Ender Chakra. I wanted to tell you the Ender Mantra for that. Now there is no chance. So, I can't help. Actually, I wanted to, I, last, year, at the last year, I decided to complete as early as possible my journey. That's why I wanted to uh, make the people uh, further and further and further and uh, I told uh, Om Sreem Heem Kleem Glaum Gam Ganapati 
వరవరద సర్వజనం మే వశమాన సైడ్ ఇఫ్ యూ కెనాట్ చాంట్ దిస్ బిగ్ మంత్ర అండ్ ఐ టోల్ ఓం గమ్ గణపతి నమ సో అండ్ విస్ స్మాల్ మంత్ర ఇట్ ఇస్ వెరీ స్మాల్ మంత్ర యూ సీ వెన్ ఐ విల్ గివ్ ఎన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వెన్ వై ఆర్ స్ట్రగ్లింగ్ టు పెర్ఫార్మ్ ది మ్యారేజ్ ఆఫ్ మై సన్ మౌర్య అండ్ వి వి సెచ్ ఫర్ ఎ గర్ల్ ఫర్ త్రీ ఫర్ త్రీ ఇయర్స్ కంటిన్యూ త్రీ ఆర్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ వై హ్యావ్ సీన్ హండ్రెడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ది గర్ల్స్ అండ్ హండ్రెడ్ ఆఫ్ ది గర్ల్స్ దే హ్యావ్ సీన్ మై సన్ సమ్ హౌ డింట్ హ్యాపీ then one day i called mauriya from hyderabad to my machli patnam on one particular day at 5 o'clock i asked mauriya to have a complete shower i asked mauriya to sit beside me and my wife was sleeping and other children are sleeping we both were sitting there i said mauriya i will tell you one mantra ganpat mantra i will chant that mantra in a particular tone so it is not possible to you to follow that tone because two two different tones you see every individual have their own tone frequency but try to match my frequency until you match your frequency with my frequency you just try to chant and we both were chanting and after 10 or 15 minutes he could match his frequency with my frequency of my voice and then the two voices has become one voice it took for moria for my own son 15 minutes and once he started chanting along with me with the same frequency then he said hey, it is so beautiful he he could not contain his happiness it is so beautiful what is this vibration i never found this vibration in any mantra like this It's so beautiful from inside when you are chanting like this. And uh, Father, I am so happy with it. And I said, I stop chanting now and you please continue. Now if I stop chanting, now you please continue with the same frequency. And after 30 minutes, then you stop chanting that. And then uh, he chanted like that for 30 minutes. And then he stopped it. And then I said, I tried to find a girl to you. i couldn't find a girl to you i am totally leaving that project of searching a girl for you i am totally leaving it i am leaving it to ganapati and i am leaving it to the master so i am totally unconcerned about it and then uh, the next time whoever comes to you and if you likes the girl you marry him you marry her but i am leaving it here i am leaving into the master and to ganapati and to you you know what happened the next month the next month my brother called me say one girl is there in our family <laughs> why don't you look at that girl and uh, if moria likes uh, we can uh, perform the marriage then i told moria you please go and see that girl and if you like sir say yes sir. he went there and said yes <laughs> within one month marriage is over that's what i wanted to help all of you with that mantra i told you very clearly you will settle your life you will get lot of confidence you will get very good very good health you will get uh, very good ideas in your mind for your for your future life and all the obstacles in your life will go away and you will find a very beautiful way in your life and I asked all of you to record also and most of you you have recorded that mantra in your mobiles yes that's right of course uh, but uh, uh, it is it is so common <laughs> it is common everywhere not only in Switzerland uh, we used to tell and they used to forget and it is a, it is a part of the game so don't don't be serious about it so even then i am telling you i am not going to uh, chant any uh, again this uh, already they are there in your mobiles so that is, that is the purpose of uh, the ganpati mantra and then i gave you the uh, lakshmi mantra lakshmi is a goddess of abundance goddess of wealth 
ओम श्री ह्रीम क्रीम महालक्ष्मी ये ही ये ही सर्व सौभाग्यम देहि में स्वाहा एंड दिस टू मंत्र ओके आई वॉन्ट इट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो दर अगेन सो लाइक दैट सिंस लास्ट वन इयर वेर एवर आई गो इवन इन इंडिया ऑल्सो आई वॉन्ट इट टू सम अप एवरी थिंग वेरी फास्ट एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव समथिंग टू द पीपल इट इज लव टू दैम बट दैट दूज इट आर नॉट दैट इज नॉट माई प्रॉब्लम बट आई एम अगेन रिमाइंडिंग यू आई एम समिंग अप ऑल माई टीचिंग्स into the simple way simple teaching and more practice if you pick up the practice it is very useful to you for your future right it will be useful to you for many many years of your life that is my request right then come to the uh, other prayer we'll do hari om वरुण शोत्म शो बृहस्पति शो विष्णुक्रम नमो ब्रह्मणे नमस्ते वायो वेव प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासी वेव प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्म वदिष्यामि ऋतम वदिष्यामि सत्यम वदिष्यामि तन्मामवतु तद्वक्तारमवतु अवतु माम अवतु वक्तारम ओम शांति 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 सो द क्रिएटिव यूज ऑफ साउंड एंड कलर is a one of the most advanced lectures given by the master all the lectures are like that but uh, the this time i have taken up this uh, uh, lecture delivered at geneva on 25 382 master has to come used to come to geneva all the time and uh, 25 382 in the month of march right good evening to you all this is the lecture given in the evening not <laughs> in the morning good evening to you all today we are expected to know something about colors and sounds he is he is addressing like this good evening to you all today we are expected to know the something about colors and sounds the interrelationship and the various methods of using color and sound and knowing the proper and important <coughs> improper methods of using them what is this is he wanted to explain about the sound and the color and also he explained how we use them in a improper way improper way means not in a right way he is telling that let us understand about uh, the sound and the color how to use them in a proper way right you know that people are pleased or displeased with what we speak there is no better and direct evidence than this about the effect of sound upon us the colors in a room are convenient to our eyes we find ourselves tuned to the room and we can work in the room for a longer time and with better ease he simply telling even without going deeper into the science if you understand about the sound some if some people speak with a very nice voice with a very sweet voice with a very pleasant voice how how we will feel we feel very happy it is it is called the sound hey what is that hey what is happening there the same sentence the same sentence this is the this is the value of the sound so some people they speak very politely very very sweet very soft right some people they speak very harsh 
very aggressive sarcastic right and finding fault no no you are wrong you are wrong <laughs> and instead of telling that uh, can you explain to me once again is it like this yes this is one way of asking the question no you are wrong <laughs> this is what we call the sound you understand that's why when something is going on and some people uh, the the sound very nice the pleasing voice and you feel like listening to that then he is telling about the colors if you go to somebody's house and they use a lot of very very dark colors and something like that you feel now you will not feel so comfortable there if you go to some places for example if they use very pleasant and fine colors and you feel like staying some more time there why because when you look at some color some colors are so pleasing some colors are very beautiful using the colors in different in a with a in a very good combination how to use the combination of colors and when you go there and you you feel like so beautiful and you wanted to spend some time there and in the after the rainy season if you go to the fields farmer fields when it is so beautiful green we feel like sitting there and enjoying the life because the color of that that particular green is so beautiful can you say so you have a very pleasant feeling so even without going deep into the science of the sounds and colors the common sense we can understand if the colors in the room colors in the outside if they are so pleasant you feel so comfortable there you wanted to spend some time there even the sounds also some musical sounds will be there some sounds are so harsh all the youngsters they like all the beat beating sound and this and very loud sounds they used to like and if you observe their mindset it will be like that if the music is so soothing and so soft the people who are very comfortable with the very smooth music very light music their minds are also very calm and poised that's what master wanted to explain in the beginning when you find some people dressed in colors you feel that it is fine and wonderful and when some people are dressed in a different combination of colors we may find something strange <laughs> he is telling that when some people are using a very good colors and fine colors oh how beautiful it is and some people they use all uh, very odd colors they like it of course but it looks very odd this uh, it's all depend upon their uh, the taste of their colors you know the sunrise and the sunset fascinate us with their wonderful color combinations and also how the very old dark areas in the forest <laughs> with their grayish and brownish surfaces of trees and rocks how they fill your mind with an awful and gruesome atmosphere he is giving another example when you look at the sunrise when you look when you look at the sunset when you go to the woods the forest or to the lands where you find lot of green colors when once you go to the very fine green color lands and when sun is rising right and small small water bubbles are there on this grass understand when the sunlight is there reflecting on the small small water bubbles on the grass and you see there when the cool breeze is coming and you feel how wonderful it is suppose if you go to the woods or the forest what it may be when all the leaves are falling down <laughs> the brownish color can you how the can you feel the same uh, uh, happiness there no a lot of difference is there and if you look at the sunset for example if you if you go to the alps mountains uh, any day at, at the sunset time 
when you go to the snow mountains uh, uh, if you go to sun, uh, snow mountains alps mountains and sit somewhere and look at the sunset time and uh, do you then you imagine how beautiful it is did you any time go there sunset time sunset time to the snow mountains any mountain alps or himalayas and what color you will see there right gold rose gold yes gold yes when you go to the snow mountains when you look at uh, the you sit at uh, in the sunset time you find a beautiful golden yellow color the one of the most highly spiritual colors that is one of the most highly spiritual cults you find a very beautiful gold sometime uh, somebody comes uh, goes to the mountains uh, for the first time when i was doing his prayer or meditation in the sunset uh, before he was uh, before he closed his eyes it is everything is like that by the time by the time sunset uh, when he open his eyes uh, he he see the golden <laughs> light there then he feels like it is a miracle happened <laughs> he feels oh some miracle happened here when i closed my eyes it is like the snow when i opened my eyes i could see the golden light eh? as if the angels eh? <laughs> sent their light <laughs> to the no it is not true the reflection of the sunset light falling on the snow it reflects as a golden yellow that is not real golden yellow it reflects like that the sentence has lot of meaning in it i repeat again actually this is the white color so it's white <coughs> sunset is orange color isn't it sunset or sunrise time you will find the color what is the color it is orange color a, a little mix of red the mountains are white because of the snow the real color of the sunset is orange color or a little mix of red orange finally what happens when the color reflects on the snow how it becomes it will becomes the golden yellow color same thing happens to any wisdom coming from the heavens coming from the higher cycles to our mind and reflects like that it is different and this is different and it reflects here it changes its colors everything will be here the secret is here the secret is here understand that's why a master is telling look at the sunset and sunset and sunrise how beautiful the colors are and go to the forest the dark forest lot of trees and uh, no chance to to the sun to uh, sunlight come down and all the leaves fall in and the brown colors it is not so beautiful no no life there It's telling that you know the sunrise and the sunset fascinate us with their wonderful color combinations and also how the very old dark areas in the forest with their grayish and brownish surfaces of trees and rocks how they fill your mind with an awful and gruesome atmosphere the atmosphere is not so good that's why here indirectly is telling wherever you go it should be so beautiful and so artistic so when the, uh, i explained in the moshak in uh, about astrology see whenever we enter into somebody's house even looking at their horoscopes <laughs> we can tell the woman he living in this house is a total saturn <laughs> and uh, the woman living in this house even when just enter into the house we can tell yes the woman living in this house is uh, totally venus very strong even the perfume for example even the perfume what we use when we when when, when we are just coming in inside when you get the perfume and then we can easily say the woman or a man who it may be is a 
a very strong mars or strong venus or strong jupiter even with the perfume when you enter inside of the house when you look at the curtains look at the colors of the walls what the colors she uses or he uses when they are playing some music listening to the music without even looking into their horoscopes we can directly can say yes in their horoscopes the mercury is very strong our moon is very strong our venus is very strong our sun is very strong our sun is very weak <laughs> venus is very weak our jupiter is very weak we can directly tell them without looking into the horoscopes very easy and what we will do uh, even uh, looking into their horoscopes uh, without asking them uh, any questions about their health or about whatever it may be and uh, if they are very close to us and if we believe that they follow our advice <laughs> that is very important <laughs> if we believe that they will follow our advice sincerely otherwise shut up <laughs> <laughs> if you are sure even though if you tell them definitely they will not follow then what is the best mantra <laughs> keep quiet yes. and discuss all other stuff accept advice <laughs> discuss uh, uh, two hours or three hours or four hours discuss about the meditation and discuss about uh, masters and anything accept that advice <laughs> you know they will not follow that you understand so what we do if, if we believe that they will follow then oh, why don't you change this color into the light pink color they will do it just like that. are you sure they will ask you only one question are you sure and it's like, yes no explanation needed we should not convince them we can we should not force them are you sure yes, yes i am sure then they will change it and why don't you change the curtains here and and uh, what do you want me to do and so you change to the light blue color it changes everything it changes everything you know why the first is the acceptance <laughs> the first thing is the acceptance it speaks everything whether we accept it or not how egoistic we are how individual we feel we are that is the real problem we are very proud we are so individuals enjoy it <laughs> who will object you <laughs> who will object you enjoy it we say we know so many things yes, right you know you know so many things carry on it will be you have to carry much more burden and much more burden the elders will say will tell you bring down the burden throw all the rubbish out be free as far as possible clean the board put it like this all a lot of things are there why don't why you are writing one, one more thing again a lot of stuff is there throw it out throw it out throw it out try to be free 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 and then he will come and sit there if you occupy the seat for him where is the place to sit here already it is already it is burdened totally burdened no chair to the master or to the god to sit here to tell you something <laughs> you are not giving any place to him <laughs> already it is war but dead that is that true spiritual stuff not to get some more thing is not spiritual <laughs> to release something to throw it something to make it a clean space that's why at least one room in our house suppose we we even we are having one or two rooms so we can't help even the corner small corner of the house even at least if you have many rooms in your house it is different if you have one or two rooms at least a small, small part of the garden 
at least small part of the garden. We should keep it very clean without throwing anything else there. And keep it for the master, unknown master. Keep it for the angel. Put some some water fall is there, something is there, a beautiful plant which which will which gives the beautiful flowers there. You keep it very clean and don't disturb that part and keep it to the heavens and keep it to the leave it to the angels. Leave it to the master. Leave it to the higher energies. Don't disturb that. Even a small part. And sit before that and do the meditation. You will see the miracles. Lot of changes will come in your life. Lot of changes will come into your life. Whenever there is a problem, whenever there is a problem, just go there. Sit there, close your eyes. You need not do any matra. You need not do any prayer. You need not do any meditation. You just close your eyes, sit there. Close your eyes and sit, open to open yourself and sit. And put your wish or put your problem. Open it and sit there. I am sure you will find the solution. I am sure you will find the solution. If you feel some is your some somebody is your master, sit there. Look at that look at that place and just open yourself to the master. Master, I am in this situation. I need your help and leave it. You did not remind to him many times. Just leave it. You will get the answer. Hundred percent you will get the answer. Don't put lot of things before him. Whatever is very important to you at that particular time. Is it the health or the problem or the money or the job? Or whatever is the very important to you, put that, that thing, that only thing before him you will get the answer definitely you will get the answer don't put all that stuff whatever you read in the books sir, don't put there it is all it is all like the garbage unless you understand how to how to understand that how to use that it is not the intellectual which will which will help you it is your acceptance it is your surrenderance to the Master or to the God or to the Almighty, whatever the name you call it. So create a beautiful atmosphere in the house, somewhere, some part of your house. You are having four or five rooms by God's grace. Keep one room like that. Don't chit chat there. Don't fight there. <laughs> no arguments there. Beautiful incense and photograph of the master, or master photograph is there or not, nobody cares. He doesn't care whether you put his photograph or not. He is not, not interested in that. <laughs> you understand? He is interested in you, not your photograph. Not his photograph. This is the way we have to practice the surrenderance and the acceptance. It speaks everything. So there you put a beautiful color. What are the beautiful colors? I will explain to you. What are the beautiful colors? The sky blue color is the beautiful color. You cannot paint it, you know. All the blue colors what we paint, they, they are not the real sky blue. Real sky blue color, you cannot paint it. You use any combinations, you cannot paint it. Any natural color you cannot paint. You can go near to it, that's all. <laughs> you can go near to it, that's all. So how to find a beautiful sky color? How to find, a, how to see a beautiful sky color? <coughs> can you tell me the, uh, what is that, uh, way, how to find a, a how to see a beautiful sky color? <laughs> Ah, fine. Now you have to look at this guy. <laughs> right? Easy. It is not so easy. <laughs> if, it is, if it is so easy, why should I ask? <laughs> okay. You see, so simple, look at this. You, you look at this guy now. Okay. You, are you able to see this guy? No? Sky color? The sky, but this is gray. It's no, gray. you look at this guy. 
Are you able to see the sky color? It's totally clouds. Yes. <laughs> if you look at this guy, you can see the clouds, uh, the most dirty gray color <laughs> or brown color. So when the clouds are there, you cannot look at this guy. <laughs> yes. And what is the right time to look at this guy? There should be no clouds first. <laughs> <laughs> there should be no clouds no no clouds at all right <laughs> so one thing at what time from morning to evening for morning to next day morning you can look at this guy who will object you but what is the right time to look at this guy sun is there Sky is there. Sky is there. Not sun is there. East, this is for example. Sky is there and sun is there. If you look at this west side, sky is there, no sun. Then which sky you will see? The west side or north side or south side or east side? What is the better direction to see the sky color? The, 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 the side is not got the sun of it. Can you repeat? If the sun's in the east, look to the west. Ah, right. When the sun is in the east, don't look at the sky towards east. Look at the sky towards west. Right? You understand? Third one. You you told about the uh, daytime. And what about the night then? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, all, it's all practical things. Otherwise, we look at this guy and uh, we feel that this is the color, but it's not right. So, we have to look at the west side when the sun is there, and we will find when there are no clouds, then you, you find the sky color. And what about the night then? So use the same logic. Look to the dawn. No, no, the fact that no, no dawn and uh, no, the, no, no sun, I am speaking about the night time. Sun is not involved here. And who will come into the picture then? <laughs> Moon, come into the picture. It is a, it's a simple logical understanding, okay. right? So night time, the day time you said, we should not look at the east because sun is there. You look at the west, uh, sun is not there, you can see the uh, uh, good color of the sky blue. Then what about the night then? Same logic. Yeah, moon. Of course, moon. Yeah. Then, what, then what next? The opposite. When the moon is on south, I, I look on, on the west. So, it is true, but uh, try, to, try to look at the sky when there is no moon at all. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> one, one night at Mount. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 28 days. Yeah. Uh, generally, when uh, Daniel I was living in a beautiful village in a beautiful place, I used to see at the sky. She, she's living in the top of the the mountain or hill, whatever it may be. Uh, feeling like you can pick the stars <laughs> so high. Uh, when you are looking at the sky, a lot of uh, stars are there, and uh, sometimes the Great Bear, sometimes the Milky Way. So beautiful because uh, when you are looking into the valley, no artificial lights will be there. So try to find out that place where you cannot see the artificial lighting. When you go top of the mountain or into the lake side where you cannot see the lights, electrical lights, when, when there is no moon, look at the sky, you will also find a, a beautiful sky with some other, some different of colors. This is how we have to pick up the colors. So the best color is the golden yellow, there is one color, golden yellow. Where you will, when you will find the golden yellow? Sunset. Sunset, Sunset no. Sunset, I, it's a reflection. There is not the golden yellow. It's the reflection of the sunset color on the moon, on the, on the snow. Yes. Reflection. Yes, it's, a, it's also good. But it's not quite natural. It is reflection, reflection color. Not natural one. I told, all these things I told, but I, I told just like that, now I am explaining to you more. I told this to you once, how to get the golden yellow colors. 
sunrise. So after a little bit after sunrise, but at, at, that, at that time we should not look at the sun. It is dangerous to the eyes. People generally they do the mistake before sunrise or at this at this time of sunrise you can you can look at the sun just just like that. After sunrise we should never look at the sun. It's very dangerous to the eyes. I told you once. Anyhow, you are having uh, cows here in, the, in Switzerland, <coughs> no buffaloes, <laughs> only cows. So, if you take the ghee from the cow milk, uh, you cannot get the ghee here. <laughs> you will get only the butter. <laughs> we don't know how many things they will mix, <laughs> they will mix in the butter, we don't know. <laughs> in India, what we will do, we will take the cow ghee, cow ghee and we make the curd, yogurt and then we do like this and then we get the butter and then uh, we boil it and then finally we will get the ghee that is the perfect way of doing the ghee that is very good for the health and now we don't want we don't use the ghee of uh, uh, your cows your cows in Switzerland generally we won't use those we don't use the use the milk of these cows available in Switzerland our cows are different and uh, uh, hygienically they are, they are very good. So what we do, we take uh, the milk from the cow and then we boil it and uh, make it yogurt. Uh, after that we make the but we take the butter out of it and then we when we boil that and we get the ghee. Early in the morning, before sunrise, say, say 5 o'clock or something like that. Hello, come. Uh, welcome, welcome, come. Come here. Hmm. Come here. Oh, she sees uh, she is Francisca. Uh, 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 your name is Sakuntala. What is your name? My name uh, Shamala or Anya. Shamala, Shamala, fine. <laughs> okay. So, Mahani, uh, we are uh, on the way a little bit. Uh, well, actually, I, I did not start the class. I am waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> we have been lost totally. <laughs> ah, so no problem, no problem. So, this is the way to find a perfect uh, golden yellow color. Uh, before the sunrise, before uh, around about 5 o'clock, I am speaking about India uh, and sunrise and sunset. You take like this. Before sunrise, and when the outside is dark, uh, when you put the lamp uh, with this uh, uh, cow ghee, you, you put the, what is that? Lamp like that. Yeah. Then you, with the cow ghee only, then you find a perfect golden yellow color. <laughs> That, that is the only with the cow ghee. Yeah. I am telling you, I am not. I am not giving any guarantee about your uh, Switzerland cow ghee. I am not sure about it. <laughs> I have never seen it. <laughs> I have never seen it. Otherwise, look at the sun immediately after sunrise. Immediately after sunrise, look at the sky. You'll get the golden yellow color. Or if you are blessed enough, you can see it in your meditation. That is the best color. If somebody has, can see, so if, if the gold yellow color appears in your meditations or in the dreams, any color appears in the dream or in the meditation, that is the perfect color. Please just listen to me. Any white color or orange color, any color appears in your dreams or in your meditations, those colors are perfect and above all that is your color you understand it scientifically suppose in my meditation if I get a white color for example I should not propose anything to my subconscious mind I should not propose any color oh so Raji is telling sky blue is very good maybe that is my color finish finish because 
your liking towards that color registered in your subconscious mind and appears as it is coming to you naturally but that is not your natural color because that is the that is your supposed color you proposed that color don't do it any time don't propose anything in the in the meditation it has to come naturally on its own allow that to come to you allow that to come to you sunlight comes on its own sunset color comes on its own the rain comes on its own the fruits the flowers the leaves everything in this world in the nature come on its own we have nothing to do there anything there understand what i am telling everything in the universe the sun the moon the planets the solar systems even the human beings all the plants all the rivers all the oceans all the mountains the fire the wind the space the water the earth all the five elements they come on their own they are not they are not the creation of the human beings even the human being is also created by the god otherwise not possible to come into the creation this is what we call to understand the universe to understand the god consciousness but what we will do we will try to put our mind every time every day every minute into it to disturb it to destroy it that's why lord krishna says in bhagavad gita sarva dharman parichaya sarva dharman means whatever laws you learn whatever you learn everything parichaya leave it mom ekam saranam raja bow down to me to me means i am leave everything whatever you learnt all this stuff throw it out bow down to me means bow, to me means not plot krishna to me means to the i am that the name what the moses got it Oh God, what is your name? What is the reply? I am that I am. I am means our self. I am that I am. That is the name of the God. What is your name? I am that I am. You are not your self. You are not just Swiss. You are not just Indian. you are not you are not just german you are not just a male you are not just a female you are not just an individual you are not just a poor you are not just rich it's not true i am that i am i came from there again i have to go there so what is there is here that should be the meditation when all the time when you try to keep your identity with you that means you are not allowing the god to come to you whoever care for their own identity very strong with all the individuality with all the ego with all the personal things in our life all the academic qualifications in whatever way we try to keep the identity of our self very strongly means you are denying the god you are separating yourself much more and much more with the god consciousness that's why in indian teaching the final teaching is surrenderance what is surrenderance people they misunderstand <coughs> surrenderance means to give all the money to the master all the money to the temple there is not surrender all the time uh, a, a disciple or a student depending upon the 
Master, this is not, this is not called surrenders. We can take the help as elders. Like the children take the help from the parents, they can also take the help from the master or from elderly persons. It is not surrenderance. Surrenderance means surrender your ego, the identity, surrenderance to our, our small I am to the big I am. That is what Moses said. I am that I am. That is a very big meditation. When you try to when we try to keep our ego with us, there is no place for that big I am. If I am sitting in the chair, nobody can sit here. <laughs> if I vacate the chair, then somebody will come and sit here. We are not trying to vacate our chair. Oh, this is my chair. No, no, I don't vacate it. Even when you go to the restaurants, for example, I feel so funny. When we go to the restaurants or some hotels or some something, and we ask immediately, last time I stayed in some room, is it there? <laughs> And then, no, no, sorry, it is not there. No, can you try for the same room? What is the same room? We were born on this earth hundreds and thousands of the times. One time in Switzerland, one time in India, one time in the forest, <laughs> one time as a woman, one time as a man, one time in between. We don't know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> In one bus somebody will have a wife, and there was somebody is our husband, and there was somebody is my father, and there was somebody is a mother. Who knows? That's why Indian scripture says, don't look the woman as your wife, she is also a soul. Don't look your husband as your husband. He may be some other husband in the next birth. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? If you know our previous birth, we'll become mad. <laughs> so that's why Indian scripture says, looking to, wherever we look into somebody, look them as the souls. Not as individuals, as your wife or husband or children or this or that. Okay, as the family members, they can, you, you, have to, you have to take the responsibility. Because it is a drama. We are playing a drama here, in, like a movie. One, he, one, one actor, in one movie, he, he acts as a hero. In the next movie, <laughs> he acts as a villain. <laughs> when he becomes old, he is no more hero. He has to act as the father of the hero. <laughs> the same person, you understand what I am telling? It is all acting on the, in this drama. We are all actors in this drama, but we have to act properly. <laughs> When, when some character is given to you as a mother or a father or a brother or a sister or a teacher or a disciple or a manager whatever it may be whatever is the character given to you in this particular life to act you have to act properly 100% then once you are out of the screen, no action. If both the villain and the hero, they fight in the movie. After the shooting is over, they go back, Hi, hello man. Hi, hello friend. They both are friends. But when they are, when they are acting on the drama, he acts as a villain and he acts as a hero. This girl acts as a heroine. The boy acts as a hero. Only on the screen. <laughs> Not outside. <laughs> this is how we have to live in this world and we have to understand we are the actors on the screen, on the dais. We have to act we have to act properly, putting under percent of our effort. Then only the people enjoy. <laughs> you understand what I am telling? That's why in India it is so simple, they will say, don't look at the people with all the relationship. Oh, I don't like him. I like him. What is like him? What is don't like him? It is your mental disease. <laughs> Nothing but the mental disease. <laughs> mental symptom. 
if you learn homeopathy we if you if you learn homeopathy and uh, all the time we look at the people as patients <laughs> that's it if some some girl come to us and telling oh i am getting lot of dreams every every day i am getting a lot of angels in my dreams and then oh i see i see how type of angels sometimes they look very beautiful oh sometimes they are look very ferocious oh only change then we call the other man who give the medicine write it and bring the medicine again give it to him or give it to her after two months when she comes what about what about your dream i don't know sir after two since last two months i am not getting so dreams why i don't know sir i know <laughs> because the medicine is working <laughs> the medicine is working and some people they come sir all the people they are trying to cheat me sir oh they are trying to cheat you yes sir all the people they are feeling very jealous about me about me sir they are feeling very jealous about you oh i see it is very difficult to live in this world we have to tell like that we should not uh, question that sir all the people they are trying to kill me sir they are trying to kill me oh you are such a great person <laughs> unless you are such a great person why other people try to kill you who oh, so be careful ah huh? be careful take all the precautions then come come on, come on. he knows which medicine he has to give <laughs> then after three months then we give the medicine after three months they will come sir people are very friendly with me now <laughs> people are very friendly after three months what happened i don't know sir sir i also feel what is there let me compromise why should i develop enmity with them i also changed myself sir they also changed sir no they did not change you changed <laughs> medicine work so in the homeopathy whoever tells anything we look at them just as a with a medical history <laughs> when i was 20 years old one man came to the master he said as master i used to see lord venkatesha every day in my dream i was so young 20 years old and master said oh i see lord venkatesha coming to your dream every day yes master master used to speak with me lord venkatesha speaking with you so great and then he said uh, master and uh, he used to tell me a lot of things sir. and uh, they are so true yes why you are so blessed master said like that uh, he was giving his experiences for 15 to 30 minutes the poor master he was listening to me i was so young you know what at the end so master says you see it seems you are so weak <laughs> he wanted to experiment no master i am so strong i am so strong no 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 he seems you are so weak no i am very strong master i see there is no place to give him any medicine <laughs> he is searching for a reason to give a medicine to him he did not allow the master he did not give any chance to the master and then you know you know what master said tomorrow you please come i do some worship here and then come and uh, sit in the worship uh, and i'll speak to you again you know what he did master in india in the worship time we, we give water like in the church we also give some water uh, holy water like that you know what he did he has taken the medicine <laughs> and mix it in the glass of water like this put it here offer all the other people he has put big big glass of water and put it here he said be careful this is with the medicine this is without the medicine at the end of the prayer and worship you please give this water to that man not this water you please don't give this water to the people be careful 
at the end of the prayer what is what you know what master said uh, just now i received a message from lord venkatesha <laughs> master was telling to him <laughs> just now i got a message from the lord venkatesha and he has sent the water to you and he lord venkatesha told me there is my devotee <laughs> no no not you <laughs> i am i am praying at you <laughs> and and uh, he is my devotee he is very close to me and you i am sending this holy water you please give this water only to him not to others <laughs> it's a big drama <laughs> then we have given this water to him <laughs> that poor fellow <laughs> and master told me come after 3 months the such a very powerful medicine is he after 3 months he, is, he has come no bad <laughs> clean shave <laughs> no long hair cut <laughs> and uh, close like this and came master and master asked him uh, till venkatesh is coming to you no sir all these since last one or two months he is not coming to my dreams <laughs> he is no speaking he is no more speaking to me sir i am speaking very well sir now i feel a little bit comfortable with my health and what happened i don't know sir now you please once go to tirupati have his darshan look at the venkatesha and come again and uh, i asked shall i give one more medicine <laughs> don't give it <laughs> it is enough <laughs> the problem is solved <laughs> <laughs> so when you know all these things and people coming to us we should not laugh we should help them the astrology or homeopathy or the love are with concern are with affection are as a elderly person whatever it may be our first wish is they should be all right yes they should be nice they should be good they should be comfortable in the life they should not waste lot of money on all this stuff right and above all they should not waste their energies and above all they should not waste their time if at if at all we can help the people in any of these branches it is a great service it is a great service understand that's how the true spiritual life goes that's how a true spiritual life goes a true spiritual being travels in this world not the, not with the other stuff a kind word is enough you need not make it for this a kind word is enough a good feeling from your heart is enough you need not make it make it for 10 years or 20 years even after 20 years meditation you may not develop a kind heart then what do they use even after 30 years of meditation you are not living happily and you are not allowing the people to live happily and what is the meaning of this uh, meditation if in 50 years of your spiritual life you are not happy you are not calm you are not peaceful you are not able to excuse others faults you are not we are not in a position to help the people without any expectations without any selfish motives what is the use of a spiritual life there is no meaning to it all the expectations all the desires all the ambitions all the stuff what is the use of it even without doing all these things you can live happily whether you are spiritual or not who cares god never cares that is sure master never cares that is sure and who has to care you are relying on the two things one is god second is master they are not interested in it they are not interested in it you know i will tell you the one thing you will be will be afraid when i was running the printing and publishing house 
four or five workers working in my in that place I handed over that and I gave employment to 30 people <laughs> only we can accommodate four or five people there to work somebody come to me Raju I am not I am not having any work can you give some work okay join in the press <laughs> and some other person come Oh, I am not, I am not having money, I need a job. Okay, join in the bus. What happens? <laughs> we, we can accommodate only four or five people. And I accommodated 30 people. <laughs> and what is the result? <laughs> all the bank loans. All the loans from the bank. Then I wrote a letter to the master. Master, I have to pay 95 I have the bank loans of Indian currency. One lakh means hundred thousand rupees. Hundred thousand rupees is one lakh. Like that, I have ten lakhs rupees of loans. That means uh, millions and millions now. In those ninety-five, and uh, I'm not feeling well. I'm so tense in my mind. Lot of bank loans are there. Lot of pressure is there. And uh, how can I repay the loans? I am in trouble. I wrote a letter to, to the master. Master again. What type of reply you expect? Tell me. <laughs> See, tell me. Tell me frankly. If, you, if I am the master, if you are Raju, for example. If you write a letter to me. And what type of reply you expect? Tell me. Sir. Yes, tell me two words. You expected help. Huh? You expected help. From Mr. You expected help? No, no, what type of reply you expect from well, the master? Well, so don't worry and uh, I will take care, yeah. uh, the God will take care and uh, be careful. At least, at least you expect these things, huh? <laughs> you know what is this reply? It's your responsibility. <laughs> huh? It's your responsibility. No, no. No? See, if, they, if that is the reply, it is a common reply. Okay. And we can understand that. You know what is the reply? I don't care about your problems. <laughs> the reply from a master, I dedicated my entire life. <laughs> for me, there is no separate life for me. He is everything to me. I left my house and my, all my lands, all my richest properties and everything. I left my parents and joined him. I, I just don't care about your problems. I care about you. Even now, I cannot understand the statement. Even now, I cannot understand the statement. I just don't care about your problems, but I care about you. At the age of 34 years, having a lot of uh, rupees bank loans, I cannot uh, get money from anywhere. So no chance, no chance to repay the money. I, I can explain to you, I am so kind, who cares? Who wanted you to be kind? <laughs> when there is a place only for four or five people in your press, why did you give employment to 30 people? You said you are kind. Then who cares? You are a fool. Idiot and a stupid. <laughs> All the words. And then, uh, then Swamiji came to my press. So because you are here, Swamiji has come. <laughs> Swamiji came to my press and he was sitting in my chair and I told Swamiji, Swamiji, I am having 7 lakhs of rupees bank loans. I don't know what to do. <laughs> By that time, Master died, 2 or 3 years before. Swamiji looked at my building, said, you buy this building. <laughs> You cannot expect how a master guide you. That is, the, all the time I am telling you, acceptance is the only mantra here. Acceptance is the only mantra. Don't put our, we should not put our logic there. Said, so, already I am in the loans. It's a very huge, big building. I need three times, four times money, more than my loans, to buy the building. <laughs> then I ask her, Swami, is he? I don't have any money. How can I build this? Uh, how can I buy this building? He said, I don't know. <laughs> 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 
if I tell you like this, you will not come to my class again. <laughs> Next year, Sonia tells me, Saju, there are no rooms in Lugano. <laughs> All the rooms are totally booked. <laughs> Let us see in 2020. <laughs> again, when I telephoned to her, no rooms are 21, also no rooms. <laughs> Anyhow, she knows I stopped coming after 20. No, after 21, no rooms, Raj. He said, I don't know. Swamiji, how can I buy this building? And uh, he said, you have to do it, Darsha. And he left it. Then he left. He left my place. He said, you have to buy. I don't know how you will buy. You have to buy. Then one master says, you have to do it. We should not put any question there. Unless it has to be done, they will not advise you. Don't expect all the details from them. Swamiji, can you give me the loan? I will repay the loan afterwards. <laughs> that, that is the, the most worst student will do that. If you have a lot of faith in him, in any master, if he tells you something, if you do like that, finish. I am very happy Marlena asked Marlena can you translate and she used a word I am listening from here just Raju ordered me I will do it this is the reply we need even though I am looking at my book I am listening the discussion among all of you and I asked uh, Marlena can you do it and uh, please go and sit there simply she, she came to the chair and can you do it? I will try. And can you do it? He Raju ordered me to do that. I will do it. Finish. That is the attitude. It creates a lot of things in the world. It is equal to 20 births of the training. It is equal to the 20 births or 30 births of the spiritual training. In 30 lives, a single word. I am giving an example, I am not telling you about the early now. I thought definitely I should buy this. You know what happened? The owners of this building were in America. They came from America to India and they came to me and said, we wanted to sell this building. I said, when I have to pay the money? <laughs> you know what they said? You, have, you can give me the money in three installments. In three years, we will give the agreement to you, we will give the power of attorney to you to sell the, to take the building, we cannot come, we cannot come all the way from America and we, you pay one portion of the money now, we will give the agreement in your name, after next year you give another part, after next year you give another part. They came on their own from America to India. You know what I did? I used my Mercury. I used my Mercury. I asked the Mercury plant, oh, oh Mercury, please come on, come on. Please, I, please help me. I need your help. All the time I used to comment on the intellectual side, intelligence. But now I need the intelligence. Please don't be angry with me. Please come. He has come. And you know what I did? There are three brothers. They gave me the idea to pay in three installments, you see. I had the agreement. I sold one part. <laughs> I have given the money to the one part first. I sold the one part with, uh, with much profit. And I, to, I asked Swamiji, he said, no sentiments to you. Because this is the building uh, where Master has sit, sit, sat here. He has put you here in the building. Don't keep all these sentiments. You need the solution now sell it. I sold that one part with a profit. Then you know what happened? All the local people, they are against to me. No, he, he, he got the he got it for a very good price. No, he is selling with a lot of profit. So they tried their best not to bring anybody there to buy the property. Nobody is coming forward to buy the property. Because these are all local people, they feel very jealous about me. Oh, this Raju is making a lot of money and we should oppose it. Again I went to Swamiji. 
Swamiji, I wanted to sell the building, but nobody is coming forward. Lot of people are against to me. You know what he said? Somebody will come and buy, don't worry. <laughs> One man from Dubai, <laughs> one doctor from Dubai, he came to Machili Patnam. He wanted to build a beautiful hospital there. He is searching for a beautiful place. Mm. My place is very beautiful. And he came with a lot of money. Raji, if you want to sell this money, I will give you a good price. Can you sell it? Yes. I sold the property with a very good profit. I did not touch even a single rupee from that money. My manager came to the bank. He draw all the money from the bank. He, he, he put the money in a suitcase, in a small briefcase. He brought the money to me and said, Sir, this is your money. I said, it's not my money. This is the money we have to pay the loans. You clear off all the loans up to the last one rupee. If anything is left, then give it to me. I don't want to touch that money. And he paid everything up to the last rupee with interest. And then five lakhs of rupees were left. He gave that money to me. And then I sent, it, I sent the money to Vishak Patnam for, for, for some other purpose. Finish. The total building has gone. I stopped the press. All my loans were totally cleared. Then I decided not to take any loan from anybody on this earth. <laughs> not from the banks and not from the individuals. And I decided if there is no money, no work. Finish. I decided not to take any loans from the banks. With the blessings of Swamiji and with the blessings of the Master, everything is totally completed. I never expected this sort of help. What are the two replies? Master C.K. wrote to me, I don't care about your problems, but I care about you. What Swamiji said, you have to buy this uh, uh, building. I don't know how you will buy. That's not my problem. This is how masters work. That is how a real master works. Don't expect all the help from the master. Like the mother giving a spoon feeding. No master will do that. To understand the kingdom of the master is totally different from understanding a, a spiritual teacher. Teacher is not a master. Teacher is a teacher. Don't think all the people who are giving to the classes are the masters. They are just teachers. They teach whatever they learn from their masters. So, here acceptance. So, for all these things, you do not be a true, you, you, know, you do not be a spiritualist. For all these things, you do not meditate for long hours. You do not chant for long, long, long hours to become a real spiritual being. The attitude speaks. The way you speak with others, the way you think, the way you act, the way how simple you are, how simple you are in your thinking pattern, in your living style, in taking the food, wearing the clothes, using the words, in any way, you are so simple means you are so spiritual. You are so complicated means you are not spiritual at all. All the time you are with a lot of stress. You are not spiritual at all. All the times you are so unhappy. You are not spiritual at all. You are not practicing the real spiritual. You are not Traveling with the real spiritual laws, the first thing you will become, you will try to be so simple and so simple and so simple. So happy and so happy and so happy. So kind and so kind and so kind. That's all. You have to live happily and allow the people also to live happily. Everybody thinks they have, everybody feels that they should live happily. It is the most selfish thought. <laughs> there is the most selfish thought. 
Everybody thinks they have to live happily, they have to live so comfortably, they have to, they have to live with all the comforts in their life, they have to live with a lot of power. Everybody wants it. That's why it is struggle. <laughs> you want the power, I want the power. What is the end of it? Americans, they become so strong and Koreans also, they become very strong. Chinese also, they become, they wanted to become the emperors. Everybody, everybody, want, every, every country wanted to become the emperors and the leaders. They wanted the end of it. Wow. 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 Same thing. Between two individuals. You have to think I should be happy. I have to think you should be happy. This is, the, this is what we call the true relationship. Between the friends, between the wife and husband, between the employer and employee, between the two country leaders, whoever it may be. I have to give the space to you and you have to give the space to me. If something is there in between, try to solve it with the simple words, not with the intellectual stuff. Then every problem will be solved if you, th- if you wanted to think in a simple way without expectations, without your mental projections, without the ego problem, without the selfish attitude, without the my point of view, it is so dangerous. Every people say it is my point of view. Who cares about your point of view? <laughs> Go to hell. Who, everybody says, oh, this is my point of view, who cares about it? Who cares about it? You have to care about your point of view and looking at the mirror, oh, how beautiful my face is, who cares? <laughs> Somebody has to come, oh, you are so beautiful, then it, there, there is some meaning in it. I looking at my face, oh, how my hair is so beautiful, there is no hair here. <laughs> when there is no hair, oh, my hair, how beautiful he is. Even the bald head is very beautiful. <laughs> Who cares about it? <laughs> that is what we call the own point of view. We live with all this dirty t- stuff. That's why all the time we are so unhappy. This is how we care for all the dirtiest things in this world. Individuality, ego problems, own point of view. I feel like this. Who cares? <laughs> I think like this. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> you understand? If I think about you, yes, that is what the world need. I have to show concern about you and you have to you have to show concern about me. We both has to show concern about the third person. That is what the world needs. That is what the humanity needs. Then everybody will be happy. If you wanted to be happy and if I wanted you to be happy, then what is the problem here? We need not spend any money here. <laughs> we need not spend any time here. It is so easy, huh? If we prepare to lose our egos, our individualities, to see the purpose of a real spiritual life. Not doing the meditations for hours together. What happens? Blood pressure rises. <laughs> if you are doing meditations for two or three or four hours. And you know what happens in the television show? One Reiki master has come in the television show. You reach my watch. Tea break, huh? Okay, tea break. One, there is a television show in the in the uh, movie, in, in, the, in the TV, it happened last month, one atheist has come. He's a very intelligent guy. Atheist, you know what, what is atheist? Non-believer of God, atheist. And one Reiki atheist, non-believer of God. Right? And uh, one Reiki master has come. <laughs> a poor Reiki master has come. And this man said, and uh, I heard about you and you give a lot of healings. And you can cure so many people and uh, you, you, I heard about you and uh, I wanted you before this, uh, millions of people will be looking at the TV, you see, it's a live telecast. 
and uh, I, I wanted to ask you one thing and uh, after 10 minutes you do whatever healing you, you know you, you can practice by yourself I will I will read your uh, blood pressure now after uh, take 10 minutes 15 minutes you do your healing meditations or do, do you do your mantra whatever it may be after 15 minutes again I will take the blood pressure so generally what you are teaching in the classes after the healing technique after the healing meditations after the chanting of mantra generally what should happen the blood pressure levels has to come down and heartbeat also has to come down that is the proof whether you are doing the meditation in the right way or not there is a proof if it is suppose if it is 130 by uh, 90 my blood pressure for example mm-hmm. and if you allow me to do the meditation for uh, after I do the meditation for 30 minutes or 40 minutes or 20 minutes if again if you count my if you take the reading it should come to 120 by 80 at least or 110 by 70 it should, it should come down not go up if my heartbeat is 85 for example it should come down at least to 72 at least the normal rate or come down to 65 if it is a true meditation it, it comes to 50 or 55 doctors will be afraid but nothing happens for many years my heartbeat is 60 to 65 when I was, when I was playing my tennis continuously and doing the meditations you will be surprised the heartbeat was uh, never crossed 65 or 60 the insurance people they used to refuse <laughs> they are having some problem with your heart every time it is only 60 not 72 uh, we don't uh, give you the medical insurance <laughs> many people they used to refuse <laughs> no I am alright my heart is alright my heartbeat is like that no 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 60 is heartbeat what is this Two or three years, I, I had a lot of struggle to get my insurance, get my medical uh, insurance to come to Europe. Now it has become 82 after doing the meditations. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, then this man agreed. Okay, I will, I will, I will, uh, I will stand before your test. Then that man said, "Are you sure?" Yes. And then he said, "And may Reiki symbols." He said that. that. I know. Definitely, this man's. Blood pressure go up. <laughs> Definitely, I know it. <laughs> and millions of people are at the they're, they're looking at the TV. It's a live show, see. And then th- that man is very intelligent guy. He's a scientist. Say, so, well, if, if if I wanted you to test you, <coughs> then itself your uh, blood pressure rises. <laughs> He's a scientist. He knows very well. <laughs> you understand? If you are like this, uh, you, we are so happy. If I ask you some question, and if you wanted to answer, then immediately your blood pressure goes up. It is a pure common sense. The scientist uses the common sense. That that poor fellow healer, he doesn't have the common sense. <laughs> Generally, the spiritual people they lose the common sense. <laughs> Generally, people who, are, who believe that in themselves, they are, they are so spiritual, they lack two things. One is, the, one is the common sense, one is the practical sense. <laughs> one is the common sense and second one is the practical <coughs> sense. When two are not there, always they will be in the trouble. <laughs> it is a sure prediction. <laughs> we did not look at the horoscope. <laughs> and then I know definitely what is going to happen. <laughs> you cannot believe it. After 15 minutes you put the symbols. This invoke the presence of the Lord from the heavens, everything, he did everything, the poor fellow, then you will be surprised, the blood pressure shooted up to 160 by 100. (laughs) You know what happened? The scientist called the anchor, you please call the ambulance, (laughs) you please call the ambulance, forget about his healing, he is going to die, I am going to get the paralysis, put him in the hospital. (laughs) <laughs> and I was so ashamed because I was a Reiki master. <laughs> I am so ashamed. What happened to his Reiki? Because he is so tense. You know what the tension? He he knows only the signs. He is not a healer. He knows the signs of healing. That's all. He give the classes. 
he tells all the cock and bull stories. He doesn't know what is healing and what is the purpose of healing. He doesn't know anything. He is just a teacher. I know exactly what is going to happen. And then they close this session and the anchor <laughs> call the doctor. <laughs> 160 by 100. <laughs> it is 120 by 80 or 130 by 80 like that. Show it up within uh, 20 minutes. So I am telling you this is, actually it should be reverse. When you are meditating in a perfect way, without any expectations, without any imaginations, without any hallucinations, without any projections, without any program in the mind. If you do the meditation as a meditation, definitely it will come to 110 by 70. You should come to 110 by 70, it, it is a sure. It is not coming down, means you are not doing the meditation. You are doing the meditation, but process is not, you are not on the process. It is a direct example, direct test. I am having my, if you get the batteries, I am having the BP mission with me in my room. <laughs> if you wanted to test it. I have brought the BP mission. I, I have my BP machine in my room. I will show you the example. Then you will understand whether you are doing the meditation right or wrong. <laughs> I will show you. <laughs> okay? Okay. So it, is go, it goes like that. After the tea break, I will try to explain uh, much more about the sounds and the colors. And that is practice. Okay? 10 minutes break.